Oh yeah, he stole Slice Pizza for me. That was funny. It was crazy. Hey, uh, welcome to the hottest damn show on the internet. Shh, not too loud. Um, talking Mayhem Mania. I'm trying not to alarm Ozzy, who is running free <laughs> in the office, free. going for the pizza. Ozzy loves Slice on Broadway, Sorg. Mm. Loves it. Really? Yep. Mm. He got up on his hind legs. He was like trying to nose the lit up. He's like... He's like, right, right, my right shot, Rod, man. <laughs> it was either that or he wanted to play the Mayhem Mania home game, which, of course, is the lid of the pizza box. Yes, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, there he goes. He jumped right in there. He's like, it's my show. Sorgi, what do you think the Mayhem Cluster Battle Rumble is back? I uh, year love two, it. It's back. We loved it last year. Mm-hmm. We've got our first entrant is Shawn Michaels. Shawn we'll Michaels. Shawn Michaels. Making a mayhem mania moment. I cannot wait. And um, space jail secure. No one broke out this week. Good news. The Undertaker got locked up. Mm-hmm. So um, everything seems peaceful in space jail land. Maybe it's I was, the only place that can hold the dead man. It was really close. It was like one click away from letting Triple H out of space jail. Mm-hmm. We almost went four for four. It was really close. I my throat was in my gulp, whatever it was. <laughs> I was I was nervous. Your, was your, your, your heart scurred. was in your stomach? My heart was in my throat. <laughs> there it is. As I watched the game nearly bury the space jail wheel. So it didn't happen. Thankfully. Gotta keep the space jam wheel. The space Gotta jam wheel. Keep the space jam wheel. Everybody get <laughs> yeah, keep, up. Keep, everybody keep the wheel strong. Yeah. Now Dave Podner accusations that the the wheels of work is not a work. You can see it's completely legit. Uh, everything's what fine. He wants you to think. Yeah, that's what he wants me to think. Marcus Mann. You know what? Let's just spend 10 minutes talking about Marcus Mann. <laughs> slagging on Mayhem Mania in the chat room every damn week. Call when was out. he supposed When was he supposed to be on this show, Sorg? Oh, like the first, like the first like round. Like the first round he was going to be. I was going to let him roll in with the golden the chair. Right. Hey, look, a real booker. Hey, make a match. Oh, thank you, Marcus Mann. Do the <laughs> thing. Make a magic. Make it all pretty. Come on. Do the, do the thing with the thing and the pencil and the whatnot. No. <laughs> He didn't show up. I really up. like Matt's Cleveland. He didn't video, show up. He was. Uh, he sick. canceled, and ever since then, he's been doing these flybys in the chat room. He's not the only. On the he's f- not the only one doing flybys in the <laughs> chat room. More on that in a moment. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> he's slagging on the three-way matches. He's slagging on there aren't enough tag team matches in here. Well, you know, Marcus, man, the door's wide open, pal. Why don't you roll on here? Why don't you make a damn match, Marcus, man? When's he supposed to be on the show, Sorg? Oh, I don't remember. Sometime in March. Promises, promises. I got the I got the odds of like one to three that he actually shows up. I'm pretty oh. sure he's on the week before WrestleMania. The week before WrestleMania? That's um that's the go home. Hey, that there's not gonna be any Mayhem Mania that oh, week. No. So oh no. Oh no. Oh, so he's gonna roll in gonna here. Man, you know he's, gonna, he's gonna come in here the week before Mania. And you know what he's going to do? Patreon and the bank will be in the books. No, he is Our a- card will be perfect. The Mayhem Cluster Battle Rumble will have 30 people in it. And no. Marcus, <laughs> what? We have him on the 10th of March. Oh, good. We have Justin Idol on the go home. Oh, nice. Oh, that's great. And who's coming up next week? Next week is the Four Horsemen. Who are these gentlemen? You don't know them? No. You don't know the Sexy Firemen? I do know the you sexy. Know I, do Stevie, know, I do you, know the sexy fire. Ronan, How Stevie I put, LaBelle. I do know Jamie John Jameson. Ronan, the John Ronan. No, not John Ronan. I did, I said the Ronan. The Ronan. Judo. Stevie <laughs> LaBelle. Uh-uh. No, sorry. You'll 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 learn. I, don't you don't get upset. See if you can talk him into doing right. a split on the show. Yeah. Can so who that? What? He yeah, will. he can do a split. He can do a split. Which one? Yeah. You know Stevie, what? You know what's Ronin. gonna be really fun? Okay. Me asking the wrong Hossman to do the splits. <laughs> next Tell you week. what. Keep Please asking. Ask Jamie Jamie. Like, keep asking Jamie 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 Ronnie Jameson. being like, Ronnie, do the splits. No, don't don't hold out <laughs> Jamie on me. Jamie said you could do it. I'm like, do it. I'm like, I'm at home, man. Like, but also, <laughs> also, home. Country Hammer, Jamie Jameson, and the survival, the survivor, survivor. Excuse me, late night. Survival. The survivalist. Uh, Philip Archer. He's like a doomsday prepper. <laughs> I all oh, dude, yeah. yeah. No. Is he? Should he? No, should. but I wish. He should be. You know why, what? Is, why isn't he? Like we always say here, that idea is for free. That's the first <laughs> one's on the house. Enjoy that. 
Um, okay, real quick. Here's the uh, matches real quick. Well, WWE is using our ideas. We so. are way out in left field now. All right. Poor Ron Starks. Ronnie, sorry about the punishment. It's, it's fun. <laughs> it was fun, though. All right. Ronnie had to use a WWE Hall of Famer. He chose Kurt Angle, who looked like, I mean, hey, Pittsburgh boy. I mean, you got, you got to look after him. But Ronnie, he looked like hell the last time we saw him. I mean, I won't lie. Have you have he you been reading up in his purple. stuff? Purple. Yeah. What's that? Like. Oh yeah, WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah. He he was uh, he was struggling. He's uh he just did an article saying that uh, he's having a hard time staying sober. I know. Oh, really? That's really yeah. sad. Oh well. So. Best wishes to Kurt Angle, who I I, I have had a chance to meet once or twice. Mm-hmm, very mm-hmm. nice. Uh, Same here. Very nice guy. So I mean, it's a good match. At least I didn't pick like DDP or like. Oh, yeah, so I, that's I a good point. I mean, he's not like in there with like some stiff like Baron Corbin. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Actually, Finn, I don't think Finn Balor can create anything. a lot of motion just by himself, so he, he yeah. should be all right. Uh, they can hold it together. By the way, Baron Corbin fighting with uh, Dave Meltzer tonight on Twitter. Was he really? Yeah, I saw a thing about is that. He, is I mean, he purposely burying himself? Or like... Outgunned again. So, And Sorgi, always looking at it. Just a Yinzer fest here on the Keeping Mayhem it Mania. Local. Keeping it local. Bringing in Elias. Mm-hmm. Sorg, I couldn't help. I didn't want to blurt this out during the uh, show itself, but I think Nakamura's first match after his debut match against Sami Zayn. Yes. Was against Elias. I do believe. It was in like some convention. It was in the convention center down there in Dallas. Right. So I want Elias now versus Mm -hmm. Nakamura now. Right. Elias, formerly known as Samson. Yes. The Drifter. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was just Elias. Yes. He had so many so many words and names to give. Once he got to the main roster, he was just like, jump, and, and jump, Sammy's jump, a, jump. and Sammy's got to be part of this because Sammy's amazing with yep. the stuff that's happening now. Yep. Um, Mad Mike turned back yep. the wheels of time <laughs> and brought back Walter versus Keith Lee. Yeah, we've had oh, this, th- this has happened before mm-hmm. where we have like where matches have like they're like almost get to graduating and they get killed. Someone comes back and stubbornly recreate the match. And then we wait a couple weeks and we see if it makes it this time. This is yeah. like a theme for Bobby. Bobby and the Iconics have, have done this like in past years I, where he's just like, right. damn determined to get him on the card and he just keeps doing Matt, it. it. Yeah. Matt, if you didn't introduce the subtraction move this week, mm-hmm. I I was going to book the Iconics. Yeah. I don't know what I was going to do with them, but I was <laughs> put them against each the other. Iconics. Put him against Sam no. Roberts. Handicap match. Sir. Nice. Sir. Sir. What a beating if that you would be. Think I would, if you think I would pit Peyton against Billy, you don't know me at all. <laughs> I guess, I guess I would not. Never, I would never do that to the Iconics. Um, I, I would put them against like the Riot Squad or something, but I would never put them against each there other. There is no Riot Squad anymore, man, Mike. I hate to break it to you. Hey, you know R. what? R. Mayhem Mania, all things are possible. You're right. You can always mm-hmm. bring it back. Everyone loves a reunion. I can do tri- I can do Triconics versus I- versus Riot Squad. Oh, Triconics! I love the Triconics. Yes. Um, all right, Sam Roberts versus Pat McAfee. Yes. All right. Good. <laughs> Ronnie just nods that, approving. That, yeah. That, how how long? Like the pre-show was only a half hour. How long did your wife yell at Sam Roberts the whole time? <laughs> She's like, "Listen to that crowd. They hate him too." This other guy's okay. Mansoor. Yeah, he did a good job. Oh. Mm-hmm. And um, that's what I that was where she was going to do. She was like, I'm going to put Sam Roberts in a match. We can get killed. I'm like, all right, who you got planned for him? And I'm like waiting for her to say like, I don't know. Yeah, like big show or something. Like She's like, Pat McAfee. I like him. I was like, okay, cool. All right. <laughs> it is kind of fun though. Um, and Nikki, uh, Ziggy. Mm-hmm. So inspired. Yes. Nikki Cross versus The Fiend. Mm-hmm. Finally, some real competition for The Fiend. Yeah. I believe oh. this match can work, Sorg. I believe in th- this. Nikki Cross can beat him. Definitely. Don't you think? Well, yeah, don't put me on the spot on that one. Ronnie. <laughs> no, <laughs> Nikki no. Cross can beat The Fiend. Sure. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Why yeah, not? It'll be fun. <laughs> Everything will be great. No, I love it. It's awesome. Yeah. Great match. And, um, sorry. Um, finally, Tina rolling in with, uh, Pulling jazz out of nowhere mm. to go up oh, against Bianca Belair. I knew we were going to get Bianca Belair into a match this Bianca's week. So good. She I thought so someone was going to add her to Charlotte versus uh, Rhea Ripley. I really want to see that match. But um, now we like, get Bianca I, Belair I really, versus Jazz. I really, really want to see that match. It's gonna, it's gonna happen someday. It has mm. to happen. This has to happen. We're gonna will it into existence. Garza's gonna make a graphic. 
We're going to blast it all over the internet and we're going to bring it into existence mm-hmm. just like that. Well, my first answer was going to be replace Rhea Ripley with Bianca and then just do Charlotte versus Bianca. That would have worked too. I would have done that. Yeah. One way or another, I thought Bianca was going to get in. Obviously there. Mm-hmm. Obviously I know. I know this game, Sorg. In and out. Because you're the master of this game. Because I make the, the rules. You are I the make game. this up as you, we go along. Stop. You are the game master. Really? I suppose I am. But all right. while we are mid-talk, I'm going to say that I'm going to start getting ready to skedaddle because I have to feed my dog and he probably has to poop. So I'm just slowly going to start leaving. Well, I guess that's our cue, Sorg. There you go. Okay, Can't have the dog. Bye. Time for everybody to poop. Pooping on Time the... for everyone to poop. Can't have <laughs> Ozzy pooping on space jail, so we better get out of here. Amongst yourself. No, I, I mean... need to, like, make myself go poop. Okay. <laughs> do more stuff on your floor. <laughs> All right. Ziggy, thanks for coming. Thanks for playing. Right. Point. Ron Starks. I'm See you later. Bye. Not coming back this week, huh? Scared okay. of the Hossman? Well, no, there's going to be like five dudes on the couch. Yeah. I don't yeah. know if yeah. they're going to fill yeah. the couch. Five dudes, one room. Five yeah. dudes, one room. Five <laughs> dudes, one couch. Oh, no. What are you going to do? Yeah. No. yeah. Thanks, Ozzy, for coming by. Sorgi, thanks, ones and twos. Mad Mike. Welcome, welcome as always. Thank you for watching Talking Mayhem Mania. Catch up on the lore, WrestlingMayhemShow.com. All the rounds are there. Marcus Mann, your day will come. Stay mayhem. Wonderful. Wonderful. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.com.